our amazing turkey, Kiwi, has been sitting on her nest for about a week, but we're not sure that the eggs are fertile. So tonight we're gonna candle them. Candling is where you take a flashlight and hold it up to the egg, and if the egg is fertile, you can see a little spot and a bunch of little veins, and you can make sure that there's actually something inside. So come on, let's go try it out. Nope, that one's not fertile at all. Nope. Nope, not that one. Nope. Ugh, not fertilized. Nope. Nope, that one's not fertile. All right, last one. No, looks, looks like we're empty. Out of luck. Nope. None of them. So because I thought this would happen, I ordered some fertilized eggs online. They are peacock eggs. So they should be coming tomorrow. That's gonna be fun. And then we can put them under her and have her hatch out something fun, like peacocks. All right. I had a dream that you were mine. You lit the flame right over the line. My darkest day. We don't need a scratching post, because we have Ethan. Yeah. <laughs> she itches her head on basically anything that she can find. Yeah, I know. That, tree, anything. And Luna just wants to eat it. Can I just stand here? for a minute, Willow, without you coming under me. Uh-oh, I'm in the way. Sorry, Luna. You can do it. Go, Luna, go! Oh. Oh, sorry. I had the stool in the way. She has been kicking the pail over almost every day. Uh-oh, really? Yeah, because of flies. Like, she oh, no. kicks so fast. We need to do the fly spray on their legs. Is that, or just like have a fan going on their legs? Okay. All right. There you go, Luna. I won't kick it over today. Is it working? Yeah, it is. No flies since you start kicking. So. Chickens, you can have the scraps. Uh oh, I'm gonna have to move, huh? Luna's gonna Probably. hop down. She's gonna hop down right here. Okay, let me move. We've scooted the milking stand over. No, don't. Oh my gosh, we moved it just Why? for you, Luna. <laughs> and then she goes on the other side. No, she's oh, right. you can't even turn around. You have to back up now. Oh my gosh. Look at that. I guess I should go on the complete other side. Oh my gosh. Ethan, look how good Penny's coat is. You see that? It does look good. It does, it looks all shiny. Yeah. She still has a little bit of the curls on the end right here. Yeah. I see that's a sign of low copper. But it's getting a lot better. Okay guys, I'm super impressed with these minerals. I know I've mentioned this before. I wrote an article about the minerals that I'm using, including the Pat Colby mix that I'm in sprinkling on top. And I'll post it down in the description for those of you that have goats and wanna try it. I've noticed a huge difference in their coat. I've always given them that copper bolus and you put this little copper pill down into their stomach. But my goats have always shown a few different signs of low copper. Penny in particular has had this little curl at the end of each of her hair, and that can be a sign, and Willow had it too, that can be a sign of low copper. So I've been wondering if I needed to supplement more, but you always get nervous with goats with supplementing copper. Anyway, I explained in my post all about how this is a safe way to do it and how it's been working really well. So go ahead and click the link below if you wanna read more. I'll wait to see 
Okay. We got the peacock eggs because we have a plan, Lydia. Okay. What are we gonna do? We are going to smuggle the eggs onto, uh, onto, onto, uh, onto, <laughs> under kiwi. And she is going to think they are her eggs and hatch peacocks. This is gonna be a fun experiment. I grabbed a bunch of her nesting materials that okay. has her old poop and stuff in it. So I think what's gonna be good is to smother them in that. Get them all smelling like her nest. Oh, those are heavy eggs. Those are way heavier than turkey eggs. And you're in there, three. Mm -hmm. So she had kick two eggs out. Did you guys take them or did she just push them back in? She pushed them back in. She must have pulled them back in. She pushed them like two feet away. Hmm. It's not an egg. It's not an egg. It's not an egg. It's so funny. She's only mean to us when she's laying on these eggs. It's not an egg. Okay. All right. Hopefully she takes them. Get How's Egbert today? There it goes. How old do you think they are now? Like have we even uh, been keeping uh, track? We are guessing like six weeks or something like that. Five I weeks. don't know. They love the boots. Every animal love the boots. We found these kitties as newborns in a barn. We think they were abandoned. And so Lydia's been raising them diligently. I said she could keep them as long as she took care of them and she's been doing a pretty good job. Kevin brought home a baby chick and now they have a little chick with them as a friend and also to kind of make them used to different farm animals. So hopefully um, they don't try to hurt him. So far Egbert is doing okay. I love how they like go really fast and they're like. They like climbing to the top now. Now we gotta, be, gotta get a big thing. like cat thing that goes all the way up. So we definitely plan on keeping all of them and we're gonna spay them and then they'll be able to be outdoor farm kitties. Hopefully they enjoy it here on our farm. It's officially hot and summertime so I've decided to make a really easy summer dinner by starting it early. So I'm gonna pick some garlic and some onions from the garden and I'm also going to grab some carrots so we can have those for lunch. And then I'm gonna slow cook a roast, so tonight we can have some summer tacos. That goes with our peach tea. It's time to check on Kiwi and her eggs back here. You know, normally they always keep the eggs and they sit on them really well when you put some new eggs down in there. But I just wanna check to make sure that she didn't push out the peacock eggs. There's one kind of sticking out there, Ethan. You think that's one of the peacock eggs? Are you pushing the egg out? Kind of covering it up. I'm sure it's fine because it's 100 degrees outside today, right? Yeah. All right, you're doing good, Kiwi. Uh-oh, we have our first casualty. The heat got to one of our chickens. 
Yeah, it's a chicken. No. It's usually really cool in our backyard because we have way more trees than the average farm and we have lots of evaporative cooling from the uh, irrigation. But every once in a while, once in the summer when it's really hot, we'll have one die. So, sad day today. Well, well, well. Back again? When the mom is on the nest, the babies will play. <laughs> you guys are not allowed by our banana tree. Hey, okay, let's see. Minnie, bring them over to the door here. It's a good corner, I think. Come on, Minnie. To the corner. Oh, Minnie, Minnie, be nice. Oh, this is a loud one. Oh, she's loud. Okay. Last one in the corner. I don't like that corner. This corner doesn't work. This corner doesn't work? Hey. 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 Settle down. It's okay. It's okay. They land pretty seamless. Well, we decided not to keep this flock of turkey chicks, so it's uh, definitely time to sell them because they're flying over the fence and they're getting into our trees and everything. So we don't really need to clip their wings because we're going to be taking them to their forever home in a couple days here. Go help mom on the nest.